Jake reels in his line with great skill. The tuna struggles in the water. Jack tries to use up the tuna's strength. Soon a few hours have passed. By now Jack is exhausted. But he doesn't let his guard down. He's still using what strength he has left to compete with the tuna for endurance. Even though Jack is soaked to the skin, he's still trying to beat this tuna on his own. It's almost time for the reel. It's almost time to win. By now the tuna is lying still on the surface. Jack believes it has no more strength left. But Jack has also exhausted all his strength. Through his tireless efforts, the million dollar bluefin tuna, he has pulled it to the side of the boat. Jack is convinced that he has beaten the fish. He calls out to his assistant to come out and hold the line. He then gets himself a big hook. He's about to hook the big fish and haul it aboard. At this point Paul suggests loosening the line a little, but Jack thinks the tuna is running out of steam. Now was the perfect time to pull it out of the water. With everything in place, Jack is about to drop the hook, but at the critical moment, the line suddenly snaps. It's a shame. A million dollar house is gone. Jack in the boat is not yet able to accept this fact, but he had to face the consequences of the failed challenge, because you only get one chance. It's going to be hard to come across this tuna again. This story teaches us a lesson. It doesn't matter if you catch a fish or not. What matters is to feel the whole process of fishing.